Introducing Oliver and Elaine. They were different bodies with different dreams and had different goals. Haven't met yet, living in different cities but share the same soul. I'll tell you some detail about each to get a better understanding. The story when love departed and took flight, also the turbulence they face and how they arrived for safe landing. First, Oliver was from a home of broken English, broken promises, and flooded from broken hearts. He raised himself, learned about life by realizing hope is a thing that ends where it starts. Never seen compassion nor felt it from the warmth of a hug. Never hung pictures with memories because he built walls without studs. He only wanted a companion that would keep him company on his journey. Somebody to call home and never leave even when the world is burning. Then there's Elaine. Grew up in a home lit up with bright minds and bright smiles in the presence of a bright future. Given it all, the universe at her fingertips with the decision to pick and choose what would suit her. Parents showed affection for she was the only child. Protected from the pain in her home but her heart was lost in the wild. Everything was nothing she wanted. She wanted someone to hold her hand when her story's pages started turning. Somebody to call home and never leave even when the world is burning. He hopped on the train to visit where the wind plays a song, a place where an undying love is shown, where the water kisses the land all year long. She needed to escape, so she drove along the coast and park where the hardest wind was blown, listening to the sound of the ocean as she closed her eyes. They watered, realizing even with all the people on earth, she was alone. Sitting on a rock, he looked calmly at the tide washing up. She sat on the other side, sobbing, chucking rocks with a thrust. He could see the rocks at the water and was curious, so wanted to take a peek. He turned the corner of the earth. She looked up with tearful eyes as they were greeted by his. This is where Oliver and Elaine meet.